Hello, I thought I would talk a bit about this particular painting which is called Being the Elephant Man. A small painting, it's about 30 centimetres square and in the very distinctive frame. This painting is all about fear really um, and it's directly inspired by the David Lynch film The Elephant Man and the particular memorable scene where the Elephant Man was chased in a London railway station into a corner. I felt very strongly for the Elephant Man and felt um, completely understood the herding instincts and the, the way that people can persecute others irrationally and the way that mobs can control the world. This is something that's particularly prescient in uh, the modern era, particularly with the internet. We have e-mobs now chasing e-people. It's a very unusual environment and I found this to be quite scary and I wanted to portray how I thought the elephant man might feel in this situation. It all appeared to me, as most of my paintings do, in an instantaneous vision. We have a figure in the centre of the screen, the centre of the painting, staring out through a hole that's actually painted in canvas. This uh, is inspired by the hole through which uh, Joseph Merrick, uh, through which John Hurt stares in the film. And we see a strange, frightening, lumbering figure. You're not sure if this... It's a rather pitiful, sad figure. And um, we empathise immediately with him. Down here we, there's a curious octopus shape with an eye open. Here he seems to be reaching out for something, reaching out for help. Sad, afraid, lost. And the, the octopus figure down here is stunned, frightened, unsure. I wanted in particular to incorporate the canvas look of the painting into the frame. So you'll see here this is one of the works of mine that I augment with various decoration to, to paint it. So this is uh, actual Hessian. I wanted a very rough and sculptural feeling to the cloth, something that itself was slightly Victorian. Mm. In many ways the frame takes as, as much work as the painting itself and a lot of the sculptural work I put into the frames is for the, partly for that reason, it's to make something unique, something that not that no other painter could do. That's part of the aim of an artist, surely. The work itself is very highly detailed. It's on canvas board, which um, I pr slightly prefer to paint on MDF, but all surfaces are, 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 are good, really. They all have pros and cons. There's no perfect surface. 